what's going on guys welcome back to the boat we are at our next destination for another turn uh, as you guys saw the first tournament did not quite go as planned uh, we were definitely on the right fish just they weren't eating it um, after kind of sitting down talking about it me and alicia and a couple other guys kind of kind of heard the same story up and down the river uh, we knew a guy that was also fishing a tournament a couple pools down from us last weekend and he was having the same thing so our kind of prediction was that they were garden fry and these bass they were, and I don't know if it was just because of the color of the jigs that we were throwing or what but these bass were coming up and I mean annihilating the jig but they weren't eating it all they were all we can think of that they were doing is they were coming up and just thumping it and trying to kill that bait. But they would take it personally. Yeah, at times they would take it. And there was, I mean, we caught a few on them, so there were some of them that were eating them. But for the most part, they were just thumping it. Um, I think, if I remember right, I left a couple clips in there for you guys that some of the ones that we had come off. Um, unfortunately, I did not have the first one that I had come off, which was over a three. And then I'm not sure how good you can see the footage from Alicia's. Hers was three and a half. And then we both lost a couple twos, two and a half. So, I mean, we were on the right fish. What we needed to be, it was just we, we couldn't execute. So that's something we're going to work on on this week. Uh, we're up here on a Thursday. Came up Wednesday. Got groceries and stuff. Thursday, we're going to free fish. Friday pre-fish and then tournament Saturday Sunday so um, we definitely got to go out and try and find some fish Alicia and I only have a couple a couple few spots in this pool we've only been able to really fish it one year and yeah so we're gonna we're gonna put our heads down see if we can find some top water stuff because you guys know we love our top water I'm sure we'll be flipping some uh, I do have a wacky rig just in case I got a shaky head and we're just Hodge pod around, see what we can find. Explore the pool some. Uh, like we've already said, it's been high water. We had a real high spring, so there's quite a bit of vegetation that's not up yet, and then there's some that's coming up. So I'm gonna quit rambling. We're gonna get out of here, hop up, go check a few spots, and we'll go from there, guys. So stay tuned. Let's go catch some biggins. All I could feel were just th 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 almost like a vibration. I had one really hard bump, but that's good. Nice. Mouth sore, so it's a messed up. You know how you were saying it was the uh, on your spinner bait was like constant thumps. That's what he did. Like two thumps. Like, well, maybe I'm just going through some weeds. Hey, he just bit it at the boat. He was like four inches, five inches. That was a nice one. Old T rig, baby. Old T rig. I saw him chasing it, and so I stopped, and he tried biting it at the boat. I think my trailer was almost as big as he was. Okay, he he was a little bigger than that. He was probably six inches, but. He was off a little whiz. Dude. Yeah. Like, do you do it all the rest 
No. He actually hit it, started running with it. Yeah, he, he smoked it and the line just started running. Nice fish. It's kind of skinny, but nice fish. All right, y'all, we're on spot number two. This is actually the location last year that we did fairly well in. Um, on day number one of last year, I think we had 12 and a half, somewhere in there. And realistically, we we're on we we're on the fish to be top three um, after day number one, but we had a boat that decided to come in front of us and literally park within 30 yards of the front of the boat and sat there and caught all of our fish. So that kind of left us a little salty, but we were still able to put together 12 and a half pounds out of here on the first day. The second day, complete 180 degrees of what the weather conditions were and we just we couldn't get nothing going on the second day. I think we ended up weighing like two or three fish in on the second day and so yeah um, gonna be kind of the same moral of the story this year uh, we have pretty cool temps at night I think when I when we got up this morning it was like 47 degrees outside and it's only supposed to be in like the 70s I think and then on Saturday Sunday instead of bluebird sunny skies we're gonna be getting into some rain probably on both days so uh, just gonna kind of keep hodgepodging around we kind of got a bite dialed in at one spot they're not super picky uh, we were able to catch at least one on a frog in there and yeah so we're gonna keep fishing around in here explore some new water I think we got one more thing we're gonna hit after this that we did fairly well on last year as well and go from there so stay tuned guys we're gonna keep keep trying to find a top water bite that one was a... i mean that stuff by the boat ramp was clean right that's where i'm going off of. Wood. Frogging on the wood. He's got that sucker in there deep too. fish. Two and a half. Yeah. So yeah, I mean that's two fish out of here. That wasn't the same one either. Dragging it back through all this grass. And the first time I didn't like where I was at, so I went to just start, I popped a halfway and then I'm like, you know what, I'm just gonna reel it back in. And he started hitting it when I was reeling it, that first one. This one hit it, that first one hit it way harder than this one did. Look at my hook, it barely came out.
Not a keeper, but it's a good sign. Think you wanted that frog? No. Another one just blew up right here in front of the boat too. Yep. He's little. Yeah, he's not cooperating very well. I'm afraid he's gonna spit the freaking hooks. I could see he wasn't hooked very well. Yeah, he just got bit too. He... Sit down. It just makes me feel better when we net with a crankbait because of her and. Sit down, Sids. That's odd. You know how normally they're hooked by the back hook? He's hooked by the front hook. Oh, he's probably 12 and a half. Not a bad fish. Not a keeper, but not a bad fish. Blue boat. No, silver. He didn't bite it either. He just took off running with it. I'd say it might be Andy. Andy's a silver like that too. Yeah. This one's small. Thank you. So with a wargy. Should probably stop. Well, go further up. Not big, but there's definitely a lot of fish here. He's actually got almost a little belly coming in. I just. Huh? He was close. I mean, not. Nah, he's not close. He's not as close as that first one. He's small. See? Really? He's almost 13. So yeah, that first one was definitely a keeper. 
12 and 3 quarters. Hang on. How about that net job? Jesus. Yeah, should be. Get on, Ted. down he bled all over the carpet says get down I got something big, babe. Big, big. If this is a small, this is a big one. Keeper? I was I threw him out when he said that, but he pushed it up like That is a toad. Hang him, like hang him. Can you tell how big he is? Or no? Yeah. On a spinner bait. How do you, you gotta get amped. Oh, I do That's that. why I hollered. I know like, you're not supposed to, but I, we, we have never seen a smally this size in our boat. What's your PB? 4.07. Holy shit. I know what I'm gonna be drawing on all rocks tomorrow, but that's the key to it. Wow. That even beats my large about PB. <laughs> yeah. All right, y'all. Well, I just want to apologize. Um, I didn't talk to you guys quite a, as much as I normally do um, today while we were out on the water, but that's because we were in absolute search mode today. Um, yesterday when we were out, as you guys saw, yeah, we caught a few, but <clears throat> we weren't able to put anything together spot-wise, location. So um, today we figured we'd run down the other direction in the pool, see if we can come up with something. We had one spot down there that uh, we fished a couple years ago and had some bites on it, but we never had made it back down there to try it. So uh, we got down there, and as you guys saw in the, in the one spot, um, I think we had like four or five bites back to back. Uh, never did catch a keeper out of that load. Well, I think Alicia's first smallmouth she caught there was, was right at 14. Um, but then we figured, you know what, the fish are there. We're not gonna beat it up, so we ran kept going further up into that pocket we'd never been up in there before so went up in there um we had a couple bites and then i rolled a what looked like a three pounder in the water on a swim jig um so if we absolutely need to we plan on running up in there and seeing if we can't cull a fish if if hopefully we have five in the boat um we just kind of hodgepodge around tried a couple other spots didn't to no avail 
and then uh, on the way down Alicia's like ah, I like that that stretch of rock I said all right well you know we'll hit it on the way back up so we get up there there's already a boat up there so we started back quite a ways started making our way up had a few bites on the Texas rig flipping the rock had a real nasty back eddy on it so it was blowing us up river like crazy and then we got up to the real good part and I had a bite missed it Alicia landed a, a 14 incher nice keeper smally and then the very next cast after that I ended up putting that four pound in the boat and yes I know a lot of times you don't hoop and holler but um, as much fishing as we've done guys believe it or not that really is that's the biggest fish we've put in the boat um, it's my biggest smallmouth and it's also my biggest bass in general I haven't even caught a largemouth that's four pounder so it was a little bit of a an adrenaline rush then and then also I mean like we've said from the beginning guys we're we're gonna try and record the good the bad and the ugly so uh, we kind of figured it was right around roughly about three o'clock her and I said you know what we'll end on a high note get back up to the boat ramp get stuff cleaned up packed up put away filled up and ready to go for tomorrow morning and so we're playing it up through the middle of the channel and out of nowhere just clobbered something in the water so that kind of really put our spirits down because um, we we're we we're real worried about what what it did to the boat because we hit it hard so the whole way up we kept flipping the bilge off and on to make sure it wasn't pumping water make sure we didn't put a hole in the boat and end up sinking the boat but surprisingly and luckily enough the good lord was looking over us and we got back to the boat ramp looked around looked around and we could not find nothing on the boat so um i know whatever it was was a floater i ran that on the way down and there was nothing there and then on the way up there's just something under the under the surface that we couldn't see and and definitely clobbered it so uh there were some highs and then there were some lows but we at least found a couple different locations now um starting tomorrow and we've found some pretty decent fish so hopefully we can catch that tomorrow and put them in the boat and then go from there but that's going to wrap up our pre-fishing. Uh, I just finished up rigging some, some pulls up and retiring just so that we had some fresh knots on there. And Yeah, we're going to get the boat put to bed. I think we're going to go over and have some dinner and some drinks with a couple of the other guys in the club. And we will see you guys in the morning. So thanks again for watching, guys. Um, please show your support by hitting that subscribe button down there um, in the bottom. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you did not enjoy the video, give it a thumbs down. Um, any feedback that we can get from you guys helps us immensely, especially with the whole YouTube logarithm. Um, the more support and visual things that YouTube sees that you guys leave for us helps promote our videos out there. So um, we can't thank you guys enough for supporting us, and we'll catch you in the next episode on Seek Through All Outdoors.